Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Thursday and welcome back to our series, Witch Life. This month we are focusing on our hands because our, we have all the capabilities that we need in order to practice our craft and make an actual practice of it, not just a theory of it, but make an actual practice of it within our cells. We just need to seize the opportunities. So if the thought of practicing your craft daily seems daunting, never fear. Hopefully this video will make that prospect unintimidating and perfectly feasible for you. We're not talking about complicated, time-consuming activities. This is just about staying connected and actually walking your path. And we will begin with prayer and meditation. Not all pagan prayers have to be pre-written or formal or highly ritualized. Most days it's going to be enough simply to hail your deities at your altar, reaffirm your desire to learn from them, uh, affirm your uh, willingness to be open-eared and open-minded about any nudges they might give you, and to then thank them for their influence upon your life. This isn't about asking for anything specific, or it's not about working magic. It isn't about getting into deep and difficult topics. The purpose is about maintaining the connection. Now, daily meditation over time is vital to us. It isn't going to be a contest about how long you can meditate or what difficult technique you just mastered. The purpose of this is to calm your mind and keep your perceptions clear. All of that is going to feed into your ability to live a magical life. Now, incense and candles. Each flavor of incense is going to have its magical uses, and if it's a blended incense, then you have a lot of different possibilities for how you can utilize that energy, and just putting it into the air is going to be beneficial to you, especially if you are uh, wanting to direct that form of energy into a particular direction. And again, this isn't something that takes a lot of time. It isn't something that's going to completely drain your batteries. And the same can be said for uh, you, the use of candles. Unscented and white candles in particular are versatile and they can be made to serve our intentions, whatever those happen to be. The unscented means you are not committed to a particular mood of energy. The white candles, remember white is the combination of all colors. And so whatever color you might be missing from your candle collection, whatever you are needing, the white candle can be made to serve that. Now I want to emphasize again that this is not going to have to be strenuous. There's a great deal of uh, value in using our incenses and our candle magics in small ways to soothe our own spirits, especially during times of heightened stress. And of course, if you are de-stressing that it also is uh, working in conjunction with your meditation practice, you are calm, you are centered, grounded, and your mind is clear. Uh, another thing we can do on the daily is to work on an intention jar. Uh, sometimes we can make these things all up in once, and, you know, that's fine, and we can bury it, and, and then, you know, it'll grow the energies over time, and that's fine. But for a longer-term project uh, that you know it's going to take time to come to fruition, one thing you can do with your intention jar is to gradually add contents, just a little something every couple of days, maybe every couple of weeks, that correlates with what you want it to produce. And you do this over time until it is finally full. And it's a way of keeping you actively, mentally, and psychologically and spiritually engaged. Another option we might do is the burning of bay leaves. Uh, write your desire onto a bay leaf. Uh, now, given the size of bay leaves, uh, you will probably only want to narrow this down to one word. So make sure you have a crystal, uh, crystal clear focus about your intentions here. Then you burn it and um, you allow the ash from that bay leaf to be carried away in the wind, taking your intention and taking your magic off into the rest of the universe so that it can manifest later. Uh, bay leaves are prone to getting uh, fairly quick results. And, um, you know, I'm not saying that you should attempt to do large things every single day, but if you are looking for greater peace in your life, if you are looking to uh, keep certain influences away. Small little daily efforts with bay leaves can go a long way. And then there's the issue of making small offerings on a daily basis. What I do is I'll save a little portion from my meals and then I'll put it on an offering plate to the gods. Oftentimes I'll do this, you know, if I have uh, oatmeal in the morning, I'll do that. Or if, you know, there's a little bit of a, a dessert, you know, I'll leave that on a plate because, you know, I 
I am pledged to Loki, and he does like his sweets, as advertised. Uh, whatever, whatever you're eating that the deity might happen to appreciate, or that you're saying, I'm giving this to you because I'm wanting to share this with you, uh, that's going to be acceptable. And it isn't a big thing. It's not going to any extra effort. This isn't expensive. But it is an act of good faith that demonstrates that when you say you want to build a relationship with this deity, and you want to keep that connection, that you are have enough sincerity to put it into action and to show that you are giving them what you have, not because they need anything from you, not because you're trying to do some kind of exchange for, with, with them and saying, well, I'll give you this, now you got to do that for me. It isn't, it isn't so mercenary about that. It's, it's about sharing and it's about having a kind of communion with them and it's just a small little thing and it shows the deity essentially that you care. So living a magical life on a daily basis is possible and it is rewarding. And nothing that's been discussed in this video is going to put a dent in your budget or throw your schedule into chaos. It won't lead to you neglecting your spouse or losing time with your children or, you know, sleeping less. So I hope you feel encouraged to start thinking of ways that you can live your craft and so you can move beyond dreams and move beyond just good intentions and get into the realm of practical action so you can get all the rewards that are earned by that kind of consistency of effort. So if you have any further thoughts about this, I would love to hear them. You can come see me at Blackbirds Brew on Discord. There is a link to join in the description box below. Or alternatively, you could leave a comment here on this video. And of course, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.